like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist, twist it like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist, twist it like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist, twist it like a stir fry. I'll take a whip. Okay, here we go. It's first Wayland day. One sixty-three point six. Seems pretty, pretty fine. It's only been like fourteen hours. I think I might be getting sick. It's not a good sign. You should be used to this. This is standard life for you. We've only been fasting for twelve hours. <laughs> yeah, this is standard for most human beings. Nobody's getting an award right now. No, I guess it's good to be busy when you're fasting. It's way less uh, challenging, you know, when your your mind is occupied and you're not thinking about how hungry you are. Pretty normal right now. <laughs> Pain is yet, yet to start. Grant quit three days in last time. You're at least joining for two days, at right? At least two days. How are we gonna get you not to give up? What are the mitigations for? <laughs> well, the right? only reason why I gave up last time is because I was on a work call. This time I just will be more cognizant of my intellectual capabilities. <laughs> so he says. Last time we weren't working together, right? Last time. No, I was still at PlayStation. No, so the net impact of his work was much lower. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. This is like uh, 101 Dalmatians. So we're going to get an earth reading from uh, Naba, who is a, oh, I guess like a shaman in like a traditional uh, West African tradition. Yeah, I don't really know anything else aside from that. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'll basically try anything once, you know, see what happens. So we have some friends who, honestly, they said like when they got their earth reading, this guy was like in their mind, basically. Told them all sorts of stuff about them that they couldn't possibly have known. So I'm excited to see what happens, you know. I believe like there's definitely something going on with energy fields, you know, that people don't think about. In the modern world, people dismiss all these traditions and ways that people communicate through their energy fields is quackery. And, you know, I'm now a converted. I definitely think that there's more than we know about in terms of how people can connect and read each other and communicate through energy fields. There's definitely been moments where I've been like sitting in an ayahuasca center like someone was like in my, you know, I was communicating with other people in the room and then they recalled that afterwards. One is I don't really know if like what to expect from this since this is all fairly new to me but I guess a lot of the personal life questions that I have or struggles that I'm in I think the other one which I've been thinking about a lot is why I'm very resistant to the idea that I challenge my selflessness I don't know why I always do that Grant I want you to ask this guy I want you to ask this shaman how to up your hinge game <laughs> one thought about fasting is like this week I'm super busy it doesn't seem ideal but there's never really an ideal time to do a five day fast. It's not gonna have five days where you're just not doing anything or most people don't anyways. And so you just kind of got to YOLO and be like, I'm going to do it. The first time I did it, I decided the day before, I'm like, I always want to do one. It never seemed like the right time. I was like, you know what? I had a really bunch of really huge meals this weekend. I'm just going to do it. And uh, it was horrible. I, I did it. If you want to do your own fast, you just got to go and, and just say like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Actually get through the five days this time. That's my main goal. They don't call them iron stomach for nothing. <laughs> No one calls him that. <laughs> Do you have a strategy? Actually, it is to keep myself busy. He's gonna go on a lot of hinge dates. He's gonna <laughs> go on a lot of hinge dates this week. Don't you have like four dates? Yes. <laughs> you know, on four dates, and, and we're gonna see him. We should send Simon with you on some of these dates. No. Then you're gonna just be progressively weaker and weaker. I mean, that would be hilarious. <laughs> it's like they're asking you questions, and you're kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> Entryway. How do I make my hinge profile better? <laughs> I'm gonna channel that idea, that that energy. Do you know what your questions are? No, I need to think of them now. I'm gonna sit down and meditate and think about them. Yeah. I've got to figure out what I'm gonna ask. Hopefully, I have some profound realizations during this reading. I'm not that hungry right now. It's been about 18 hours, so we got 102 hours left. That's a lot. But uh, you know, I feel pretty good. This is off to a good start. I think doing eating early on Sunday was was a good decision. Usually day two is the hardest. So see what I look like tomorrow. So I should ask about this fast and see like if this is a good path for me, or if I should give up and start eating right now. What if he said that? What if he was just like, hey, you should just start eating. <laughs> okay, so we just did the reading. It was very interesting. Basically, I come, so I walk in, there's a room, you know, it's someone's living room. And then Naba, who was uh, from Africa, had this kind of pile of sand and some shells on it. And then he spread the sand out. There was a candle. Spread the sand out and they started like making marks in the sand. And uh, they told me that I could tell me the story of my life and um, that my destiny. He said I was a leader, had a lot of responsibility and have like a, my spirit is kind of like came here to be responsible and, and to lead and have a lot of nobility. I think those things are maybe, you know, 
was it kind of true? And then he told me there were some kind of like rituals that I needed to do to kind of get the energy and cleanse my energy. Uh, one of them was uh, to take a piece of raw lamb meat and rub it all over my body to get the bad energy out. Yeah, they're gonna follow that up with an egg. I'm uh, gonna rub the egg on myself. You know, to be honest, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but I'm probably gonna do it because what's the downside, you know? Yeah, on the off chance that it does work, then I'll be happy I did it. If it doesn't work, you know, well, then I just rubbed a piece of lamb meat on my body. So is that the biggest deal in the world? I'm gonna wait until after I'm done with the fast, though, because I don't want to be around lamb meat at all right now. All right, what are we gonna eat? Nothing. Nothing. What are we eating? The uh, nacho fried chicken sandwich from Mendocino Farms. Ton of calories. It looks good. What am I eating? I'm eating Pellegrino. That's so sad. I hope you're enjoying that. I know. <laughs> uh, fuck you. We haven't eaten in two days. <laughs> feel real, real bad. Yeah, we're dying here. Uh, we're gonna go pick up some food for my family. If you break your fast, that'll just prove that once again I'm the stronger man. <laughs> okay, two whole barbecue chickens. Alright. Oh my god. This place smells so good. I had to peel myself out of the car because I was so weak. <laughs> today I basically did all meetings today. All I did was sit on the phone and I was falling asleep at half of them. Once I could turn my camera off, I just laid down on my bed and I was kind of like, that's, that's right. Uh, I also did meetings, but I did not turn off my camera. Instead, when I had a break, I did take a nap. It's all about positive mindset. I'm on that grind set. I'm gonna go home, work out, and I'm gonna feel amazing. Yesterday I did 200 kettlebell swings and I felt pretty good afterwards. Today, we're gonna see what happens. We're talking about this in the car. Grant, he got a match with someone on hit. He makes homemade keto ice cream. And so he's just like longingly swiping this. It looks so good, like every flavor. It's amazing. Like, shouldn't be out there dating while hungry. It's like going grocery shopping while hungry. So what are you doing on the date tonight? I'm gonna watch my date, who I've never met before, eat ice cream in front of me. <laughs> so good. Wait, like this is as close to my stomach as it's gonna be so I can absorb this food. Oh god. <laughs> I think I just came my pants. <laughs> so close, but so far away. <laughs> Feel tired. Deliver this food and then do a workout. All right, my friend Bianca sent them a care package. Uh, she's got a cookie company. She sent me cookies. Which normally I would really appreciate. Oh look, Justin and family, thank you for your support. Enjoy Chunky Honeys. So Chunky Honeys, you can follow them on Instagram. It's a pretty cool package. Made for your cheat day. That's not today. These are pretty heavy. I don't feel that. I don't want that one. This one's peanut butter. So let's see. I, mean, I guess I'll just look at them forlornly all night. Uh, I mean, yes, I eventually want one, but not today. <laughs> Not today. Should we just rank which ones look the most delicious? This is kind of like the ranking. In lieu of eating them, I've merely ranked these cookies. It's pretty cool that they have like one of fucking every flavor. There's Snickerdoodle, chocolate chip and salted caramel, and then there's S'mores, the OG. Now it's becoming like an ad. Self-care birthday cake. We're working out every day. It's been about over two days now, over 48. It's like 50 hours now. We're working out. Uh, we're also gonna do a brain test. We're gonna do Wordle. Grant and I are gonna compete at Wordle. Okay. Let's see who uh, still has their brain function. Shit. I can't think of another five letter word. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I'm close. Uh, That's a good one. Uh. Bingo bango. I got into five. I'm still, I'm on my fourth. See, I still maintain the superior. If I can get it on this one, I would win, right? Good luck with that, Grant. Uh oh. Damn it. <laughs> All right, that's 20 minutes on the exercise bike for you. <laughs> All right. 
We're gonna do a workout. Grant, are you joining? No. No. All right, I'm gonna try to crush a kettlebell swing workout or die trying. You've gotta keep things going when you're fast. We're gonna go for 250 since it's 71 pounds. In, are we? We're like 26 hours in. This is getting hard. Are you gonna do this every day? Usually what happens is I get weaker and weaker until I'm like, I can barely work out and then I'm just stretching. I think by day five, I'm just gonna be lying on the ground doing happy baby. Okay, I've lost track of time. It's the morning of Tuesday and I'm struggling bad. I'm drinking water. I've got a call in 10 minutes. Things are not looking good. We'll report back soon. All right, 46. <laughs> percent of time remains. I've done 66 hours now. So more than halfway through and I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling good. No, I don't feel like I'm about to pass out. This morning when I was walking up and down the stairs, to be honest, that was challenging. But then I got on the exercise bike, 15 minutes. I'm not really stressing myself. And uh, now I'm feeling good. Let's go see how Grant's doing. I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> you look fine. I feel fine today. But yeah, I don't feel like a million bucks. You're past the hump. <laughs> I feel like a few dollars. Maybe cool. I'm a thousandaire right now. <laughs> He's past the hump. You're gonna make it, Grant. You're gonna make it. Last time you gave up in three days, which made no sense to me. But I could easily see myself eating dinner tonight and being very happy. <laughs> I'm just trying to encourage you to be your best self. I just want to not be an inferior human being. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you gotta maximize yourself. This is maximizing your potential. You have less than 60 hours to go. Oh, I can tell you, the date yesterday, she was questioning my sanity. Because I was like, oh, hey, I know we're at an ice cream shop, but I'm in the middle of a five-day fast. And she's like, are you deliberately doing this? Is this for, like, religious reasons or, like, why? It's like, oh, because my housemate's doing it. I've done a three-day fast before, so I thought it'd be fun. And she's like, but what if you were to faint right now and you die? It's like, I'm, I'm not really close to that. And you <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like I, I feel fine. You like I've got a weak-ass constitution. <laughs> All right, so then you were like, I'm not close to that, and she was just like... No, she, she kept being like, well, what if you were driving, and then you fainted, and then you got into a car accident, and you died? I don't think that's going to happen. She's like, well, what if you're crossing the street, and you fainted, and you died? I was like, I also don't think that's going to happen. But she really was stuck on, like, I think you're kind of a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely want a second. No, I'm not going to second. She reminded me of an ex-girlfriend that had no sense of humor. But everything that she was except no sense of humor. Simon, you should have brought Simon. I mean, that would have been even better. Painful to laugh because the, the hollowness of your belly. Yes. Decaf. So I prefer to not drink caffeinated coffee because it fucks my sleep up. Brad told me not to drink caffeine or not to drink coffee, but I, I think it's fine. I mean, I can only do so much. I'm only one man. Pulling this up is becoming an effort. First time I fasted, I was like popping out on Twitter, and uh, all these like fasting bros came out and they were like, if you're not, if you're drinking coffee, it doesn't count. I mean, there's like no calories in coffee, first of all. They were like, if you're drinking coffee, it doesn't count. And uh, then they were like harassing me about my first meal back, because I, I just went ham on like a, I got like a whole duck. It ran right through me. It was not pretty. But then they were like, well, it doesn't matter because it didn't count. Don't let anyone grandstand fasting over you, you know? Fuck those guys. If this is the content that people showed up for, the first thing on my list, like I need, I want like a roast chicken. That roast chicken from last night, that looked, that looked delicious. It was delicious. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna enjoy this. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, just having the flavor of something like I was brushing my teeth this morning and listerine and that was like I feel like I'm really selling this experience well to other people like that convincing people that they should be doing this experience But trust me you should be it's good for you salty caramel ice cream also sounds good star anise ice cream with candy fennel seeds Even that sounds good roasted pumpkin five spice ice cream olive oil ice cream with sea salt pepitas I don't even know what a pepitas is but that sounds good. Gran are you hungry? <laughs> you watch that all? I watch it. I yeah. have some thoughts, but yeah. I'll share them with you later. Yeah, that's fine. Power through. Power through. <laughs> you can do our Power through. We're, we're competing at Wordle to see whose mental me, decline like. is. <laughs> we're three days in. We're one hour away from uh, 72 hours. So it's been 71 hours since either of us had any food. Ready? Mm-hmm. I got it.
go. Hamid's like go. the control. Hamid already did it, and he's like two minutes ahead of us now. Got <laughs> 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 it? Yes. Oh. Okay, I'm about to give up. I don't even know what other what oh, words fit into this pattern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. You got it? Got five. Oh, we got it in five too. Be the same. That took a long time. <laughs> I'm not your average horse. <laughs> I may be getting delirious from hunger. <laughs> 161. I think it was 163 point something. 152. On the last two pounds. Not good. I mean, I'm supposed to be 150. 200. No, you're not. It's a little stacked. So checking in, I've got about 32 hours left. And to be honest, I'm starting to count hours now. It's day four, and I'm on the Strugs bus for real. Last night, I went to dinner with some friends at uh, one of my friend's houses, and uh, they had a delicious barbecue feast. To be honest, that was tough. Today, I'm feeling weak, weak as shit, and uh, I guess we'll check in later. We're planning on going to the grocery store. I need to get my family some food and uh, see what that's like. And then one more day left. I'm starting to waste away. This is tough. Twenty six hours to go. Almost one day left. Things are not going well. Energy is in an all time low. We're gonna try to muster the effort to go to the grocery store to see if we can get something to cook for my family tonight. Tomorrow. Oh my god. I'm just watching videos on YouTube of eater and restaurants, imagining what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. Things are grim. <laughs> oh my god. That's some really good stuff here. Uh, watch these. It's gonna be for the caviar hand roll, which has been kind of a signature dish. Caviar hand roll. Of course, it's just having a mouthful of it. We're looking at the pearls, we're looking at the shine, the color, things. So this is a Japanese grain called Suya Hime. What we sell it for. So we're, we're trying to make it so... Yeah, we have the chicken. You don't look as bad as I thought you would look. I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> I feel like ones with a lot of vowels are good to do in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bingo, bango. And four? Four. Dang. Beefy. Still going strong. I'm going to motivate myself by looking at these cookies. Dead. I'm hungry. I like finding ways to torture yourself and myself. I may be a sadomasochist. You kind of gotta be a little bit of a sadomasochist. I feel like my mental fortitude is slowly deteriorating. I want an apple crumble. I don't want a berry crumble. Aha. I'm just doing some basic math. Four of these <laughs> put into one pie. That's why I went to Yale, bro. To be honest, I'm a little lost and confused right now. I'm not even sure why we came here. It's Keto Chris. Buy Keto Chris. I invested in this company. Please. I'm gonna buy a with coconut cream for my pie. It's a different well. one. A little rack of lamb. Yeah. Okay, tomato. We have onion, right? We have onions. This is how I currently consume food. Even if you ate that, you would be starving in time. Yeah, minutes. yeah. We gotta get these, all right. I'm gonna surprise him with it. He'll be fucked. I'm good. Thank you so much. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my god, that smells good. All right. You can eat this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall down the stairs. I might. <laughs> Look like a zombie. I need to go down the ramp. This is like like a disabled person. Pizza smells so good right now. Hey. Let's see how this looks. Oh. oh my god. Oh, smell it, Grant. It smells so good. I might get a pizza tomorrow. That's as close as you're getting. <laughs> Do I look weak? Yeah. I feel great. It's all about what's in your head. Uh, she wants to go back. <laughs> your valued opinion on how good this ice cream is that I bought while I was fasting. <laughs> it's all good. It looks pretty good, right? It actually does. It smells good, too. 
so good. Bam. It could all be over right now, Grant. We have nine hours to go. Checking in. I took a shower to stay warm. Me too. I can't stay warm at all. Like so cold. Yes. I passed out like three times last night. I had a dream about food. I kept, oh! I kept waking up last night, but I had a dream that we bought a McDonald's. You hate McDonald's. I know, that's the depths of my despair. I also dreamed about food. I dreamed about pizza for some reason. I definitely think that day two is day the Day two is the worst, but yeah. I'm weak as shit right now. Yes. Like a strong wind could blow me over. I can't believe it's only nine hours away. I'm pretty excited. I'm excited too. Food is great. If you're eating right now, be grateful. We've only got three hours left. Thank goodness we're getting ready to cook. I want to make sure as soon as we can, we can eat, we are eating. All right, look at the countdown. One hour to go. I'm less than 1% remaining. Thank God. I am feel hungry and weak and exhausted. All right, this is the final wordle of the week. Are you ready, Grant? Yes. Oh, you had it. Well, over the past five days, from the last day, I've done my worst. <laughs> uh, I did it in six. Me too. <laughs> We're declining. That was yeah, the, the worst performance. We're through deep <laughs> mental declines. A little afraid that you would die in your sleep last night. I passed out here like I could not get up. I, I knew I should have gone up, but there was nothing left. Tank is on E. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to fasting once a week for 36 hours. I'm gonna see if I can adopt it. It's a week? Yeah. Because really the first day isn't that bad. No, it's really the second day. Yeah. So it's like right when you wake up on the second... on When you eat. Yeah. yeah. I think I can do it. I mean, you definitely can do it. Look, you've proven it. <laughs> we're gonna do multi-part dinner. First, we're gonna break our fast with some green juice and athletic greens and some fiber. I'm gonna put some fiber in there to make sure that we'll... Then I'm gonna make some fried rice. Then we're gonna order barbecue. Then I'm gonna eat this apple pie we bought at Air One. I'm definitely gonna have that tonight. And then I'm probably gonna throw up in the toilet. But it'll all be worth it. Dude, it's gotta be worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will give you the world, baby girl. Dude, it's gotta be worth it. Yeah, yeah. But soon gotta be perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, it's gotta be worth it. This is delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Thank God. You put all that good stuff in this. I cleaned out our fridge. <laughs> Eating is a spiritual experience. I just finished my second bowl. Your second bowl. <laughs> Because you are our control test. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> this is my first bowl. Are you gonna even be hungry on your date? So actually, I feel like she's just wanna, gonna want to drink, which I don't really want to partake in drinking anything right now. I think this one is not that oily. I feel amazing. I feel like I could take over the world. Food. It's a super fuel that everybody needs. You didn't know you needed it, but you do. <laughs> Excellent first dinner. I feel like everything I just ate is going to come out or run through my body fairly soon. <laughs> it really might this time around. <laughs> Alright, so I guess you can help, help yourself. Nice. And a medium fry. That's it. Mm, delicious. A cup of water that tasted like plastic. I don't know. <laughs> like I hope this goes by fast. All right, we're on our second meal. I'm about to go to Talon's barbecue. I'm sure I'll regret it later, but um, feel energetic again. I'm back, baby. Put some barbecue sauce on this. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's time to space it out a little bit. I know I got a strategy. Meat sweats. <coughs> I don't yeah, regret that at all. Is that the same dog I saw? Much. The I'm starting to regret it. He's back up and eating. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Like, we could also just... I don't know what lesson there is there. I think there's a lesson of don't eat. Weights around your ankles and you just slowly... Okay, nobody else? You, you want a bite? Uh, what is that? Some whipped coconut cream. I wanted whipped cream, actually, but this is the only thing I found at Erewhon. Of course. Mm. Delicious. Food is so good. It really is a gift from God. All right, that's it. I feel a little sick. I'm probably gonna go lie down now and uh, I'll see you guys later. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>